Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I am setting up my brand new bullet journal for the year 2022. I can't imagine that 2021 is already coming to a close and only in a few days we are going to welcome a new year. I am using a notebook in points with 200 pages and also I use two pens. One is Tombow ABT water based number 15 and another is pigment linear number 0 0.5. The main colors will be yellow and pink. For this year I chose a minimalistic flower theme and I think it's just the perfect theme for this new brand year. Okay, so let's go into this video. I'm starting with a cover page for 2022. I wanted to say hello to this new year, so I decided to only write hello 2022. Also, I drew six types of flowers on the whole page to make it look more full and I added a few colors. Uh, I wanted these flowers in this journal to be very minimal, something that uh, you could do using only one pen. And also I decided to not add a key at the beginning uh, of the journal and the reason is that I am doing journaling for 5 years and I remember all the keys that I use, so this doesn't make sense for me anymore. The next spread is my goals page. On my goals page I also want to divide all my goals into categories. So I have four categories. Hobby, finances, health and family. And then I will just each month choose one or two goals and I will break it down into more achievable steps. Also I draw the wheel of life and this is a method to better understand your life and it gives you a visual representation of how balanced your life is. The idea of it is to draw a circle and to divide it into different important categories of your life and mark each category on a scale of 0 to 10. This is just a uh, big empty spread where I will write just everything that I want to buy or to do for 2022. Movies to see, places to go, things to buy and all these things. Gift ideas and lists I prefer to do in an online format because it is easier to save a specific product on Pinterest or Instagram rather write it in a list, which is why I didn't use it in my bullet journal. So this year I included in my bullet journal new stuff and I tried to add only the most important collections for me. I never did a feature log before, but this year I decided to add one and I am planning to write here all my important life events and also at the end of every month I am going to write a small summary about it. Many times we forget small but important details from our past but memories are very important for me. So I decided to write a small calendar and I left some space for writing the events and summary for every month. I admit that this can be a little bit time consuming, but I think that it is worth it. 
On this page I also drew minimalistic flowers without many details. The next spread is my highlights for the year page. I saw this idea in another video and I liked it very much because, as I said before, I like to collect memories and things from the past and this is a great way to do this. On this page I draw for every month a Polaroid photo design, which I think is cute and very aesthetic. I don't have a Polaroid, but I think that I will take photos with my uh, phone and I will just cut them in the right size and I think it will be okay. Also, at every page I added some motivational quotes and flowers. So on this spread I combine the mood and the book tracker. For the mood tracker I draw a table for every month and I also have six definitions for my mood. I like this tracker because at the end of the year you can see the whole picture of your emotions throughout the year. Uh, for the book tracker I just draw a simple table to write the name of the book, the description and my opinion. Okay, so this is my 2022 bullet journal set up. Uh, thank you for watching this video and I hope that you find something new to use in your bullet journal. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So see you later. Bye bye.